everybody, welcome to Liberty Hangout Uncensored. We have a very... This is very fitting for Liberty Hangout Uncensored today. Uh, we... <laughs> We're gonna talk about Lil Nas X, but it's not what you think. It's not complaining about his music video. It's telling you guys how he threatened to rape my father. And I'm not joking, and you're probably not surprised that someone like him would do that. He responds, and he says, Yep, and I might f*** yours. Just a little bit of the backstory about what the hell is going on. This guy Lil Nas X came out with a new music video no more than two, three days ago where he is performing sexual acts on Satan. And then after that video, when that wasn't enough to poke the bear, he starts a sneaker line of Satan shoes that have human blood in them. So his response is to threaten to rape my father. And uh, there's articles out there that are like, oh, you provoked him into threatening to rape your dad. What, you're gonna play the victim? It's like, <laughs> I was telling Justin this. Go and, ahead. And then people like Cassandra Fairbanks that were standing up for you and trying to point out, okay, imagine the there were people trying to say, oh, that's not a rape threat to say I might f your dad um, because you know he didn't explicitly say I'm going to force him. What if it's consensual? Cassandra Fairbanks pointed out, imagine this same situation in any other context. What if he said, I'm going to, I'm going to F you. Yeah. I'm going to F your sister. Yeah. I'm going to F your daughter. That's, yeah. That that would be that would oh, yeah. be anyone else would perceive Justin, that to be a rape threat. If you ever went after the people who went after me, if you personally said, "Oh, you're gonna make that stuff about my wife," I might f your your mother or something. I might I might have sex with your mom. You would be probably investigated by the FBI because you're <laughs> a white male mm -hmm. and you're straight. And how dare you say that about a woman? So that's the point that Cassandra Fairbanks was making. Right. I highly recommend everybody to go read the Gateway Pundits article by Cassandra Fairbanks. Funny. It's funny and it kind of just lays it all out there. It's just, it's just so weird. But just like in the video that we uploaded here yesterday uh, on Case on Safe Space on that little section on the site here at Liberty Hangout TV, I spoke for a good five minutes explaining how the left, when they want to go after or try to embarrass or try or try to shame right wingers, the first thing they think about is sex and just degeneracy. That's the first thing they think about is I'm going to think about this person in a sexual way and then I'm going to post it and try to make it seem as if I'm not the one that should be embarrassed, but I'm going to embarrass them by thinking of them in a sexual way. Uh, and that's what Cassandra Fairbanks even pointed out is what he what he's lying about talking about this whole thing is exactly what i said in that episode i highly recommend going and watching that i talk about revenge porn it's like clockwork with these people you tweet out i'm blocked by this guy so he has to tweet about your private parts exactly that's that's the weird thing of course he's obsessed with what's in my pants He's obsessed with what's in everybody's pants of any gender. He's he's that's what he's about. That's what they are all about. He's a disgusting perverted freak. Yes, that's entirely that's entirely what the left is about. Perverted freaks. I like that. He's a disgusting perverted freak. That's what they all are. And I know some of you might oh they're not all like that, but yeah, okay, they are. I I just don't care anymore. I just don't care. To, to be nuanced about this point. Because uh, he's getting, I feel like he's getting, uh, at least on the internet, and this is an important thing that I have to remind myself of a lot, is if you were to go to the average American person and show them this, they would look away in disgust, in anger, in disbelief. But on the internet, it's super cool. Some other people worth noting that chimed in and was really gung-ho about Lil Nas calling me pants uh kathy griffin which we all know a failed comedian because she got so much backlash for uh boy another degenerate person trying to was provoked into this beheading somebody beheading somebody and then agreeing with someone who wants to rape my dad i'm not shocked can't say that um a, a beauty youtuber named manny mua uh, i think it stands for makeup artist a, a dude putting makeup on his face all right, good. I'll take it. There were then... some other drag queens going after you. Drag queens? I showed you. There was a guy that uh, was a cross-dresser in New York. What's so funny is 
just a couple weeks ago when we went to the beach to do our street interviews. You guys know that video we did uh, where she was interviewing the, the, the real hefty uh, psychologist that yeah. didn't know what a woman was. Actually, the thumbnail of her, because she had her, her giant things just pouring out her there. Boobs. You can say boobs. Her boobies. <laughs> um, YouTube took down the thumbnail yeah. for nudity. Yeah. But they're going to allow and probably promote this. Oh, it's probably trending on YouTube. And they also, and then, and then one of our other videos from the beach, they age restricted. Yeah. They age restricted our interviews at the beach. Mm hmm. Is his music video age restricted? That would be interesting to well, find we'll out. We'll have to find out. Yeah, well, well we're going to look into that to see if it's if it's uh, age restricted. Even Cardi B says, I don't let my children watch my own music videos. You guys shouldn't let your children watch mine either if you don't want them to. Okay, fair enough. And she says, my music is not for kids. Don't let kids listen to it. He specifically said, I'm glad and it's okay that children are watching this. There is a difference between saying, I, I'm not going to parent your kids. I want to make music and express myself. Keep them away from it. That's not what he's saying. Mm -hmm. He's saying, yes, that's my audience. Yes, it's okay. I want them to listen to it. That's sick. <laughs> As you guys notice, I got uh, hands put on me, uh, a couple people trying to touch the camera or whatever. That's why I have these guys. They handled it very well. The only way I can get them is if you support me at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett, even just $5 a month. That's where your money goes, and I'm proving it right here. Promises made, promises kept, patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett. Thank you for your support. Go to libertyhangout.tv right now to watch Caitlin Bennett uncensored. Not only will you get to watch exclusive content from me, but you'll get to say you stood for the truth, you stood against radical leftism, and you stood up for America.